if you're driving this evening, folks, don't forget your car. <laughs> <laughs> You know, we're, uh, we'll be out there, uh, Brian and I, afterwards, and of course, I will sign anything but bad legislation, you know. <laughs> um, we're at a point now where what Barbara Jordan once visualized, and I heard her in the 60s, I never met Barbara, but I heard her speak, and she mentioned that political correctness would drown America one day if we didn't stop it, we didn't do something. And I think we're there. I think we've arrived. So we're at the point where a young George Carlin or a young Richard Pryor come in and hear George Carlin, a great American philosopher who spoke of the delusion of choice. That's what we just had. People thinking it was important whether the Republicans win or the Democrats win. Personally, I, I respect Mitt Romney very well, very much in this regard. He has a deep faith in the traditional Mormon marriage doctrine. So it's not same sex. It's same six. Before he's built up to that joke. <laughs> Mel Brooks today, young Mel Brooks wouldn't make it today. Uh, young, young Lenny Bruce would never make it today. So. If we, I mean, we could never make the movie Blazing Saddles today. That wouldn't have happened. So uh, I just thank the Lord that at least we still have this song. <laughs> well, a redneck nerd in a bowling shirt was a guzzling long star beer. Talking religion and a politics for all the world to hear. They ought to send you back to Russia, boy, or New York City one. You just want to doodle a Christian girl and you kill God's only son. I said, has it occurred to you, you nerd, that that's not very nice? We Jews believe it was Santa Claus who killed Jesus Christ. You know, you don't look Jewish, he said. Near as I could figure, I had you lamped for a slightly anemic, well-dressed country nigger. <laughs> All they ain't making Jews like Jesus anymore. They don't turn the other cheek the way they done before. He started in to shout and spitting on the floor. Lord, they ain't making Jews like Jesus anymore. He says, now I ain't a racist, but Aristotle Onassis is one Greek we don't need. And them niggers, Jews, and Sigma News, all they ever do is breathe. And wops and mix and slopes and spicks and spooks are on the list. And there's one little heave from the heart of Texas. Is there anyone I miss? <laughs> this, many years ago, in a kingdom called the 70s, um, I used to play the Lone Star Cafe every Sunday night, and there's a few survivors here perhaps, but, uh, but there was an old drunken friend of mine, a, a big guy named John Walsh, who was an albino, and every Sunday, I mean, he would be walking on his knuckles, you know, by the time we got to singing this song, and at just where the big in the bar says, is there anyone I missed? John would always shout, Albino! <laughs> well, this kind of caught on, though. It was never recorded anymore, so I could play someplace far away from New York, and somebody was hip enough to know that, you know? And then after a while, it died out and, and disappeared altogether until tonight. It's <laughs> come back. And um, there is a happy ending to the story. My friend John Walsh is now the head of the ESPN Television Sports Networks 
and I'm, you have to think he's the most, uh, the most influential albino in America today. <laughs> so, I'm very happy for John. I just saw him at a, at a show on the bipolar tour of the East Coast, and his timing was perfect, you know, with the albino interruption there at the point. The answer to that was, was great. And you guys weren't bad either. I'd like to put you all in my pocket and take you back to Texas. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Let's try it right from. Was there anyone I missed? <laughs> John would be very proud. <laughs> well, I hit him with everything I had right square between the eyes. I says, I'm gonna get you, you son of a bitch, you spout that pack of lies. If there is one thing I can't abide, it's an ethnocentric racist. Now you take back that shit you said about Aristotle on I will ain't in a big end like Jesus saying more. We don't turn the other cheek the way we've done before. You could hear that honky holler as we hit that hardwood floor. Fight or make it Jews like Jesus and the Marmite. Right, everybody in Eugene. All the way make it Jews like Jesus and the Marmite. We don't turn the other cheek the way we've done before. Well, the whole damn place was singing as I stroll right out the door. Jesus loves you can be very comforting words unless you hear them in a Mexican prison. <laughs> making Jews like Jesus anymore.